What up, it's me, A to Z, and we're back with more Metroid Prime. Last time, we finished our business up at the Chozo Ruins. We defeated the evil hideousness known as Flagra that was poisoning the water in the Chozo Ruins. Got our various suit back, picked up a few more power-ups, and made it here to the heated area of Madmore Caverns. Filled with lava and treacherous thing and shriek bats and everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Damn it, I got hurt. Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, here we are in the Mad War Caverns. You cannot do a damn thing here unless you have the Varia suit. So you gotta make sure that you have finished all your business and defeat a Flagra before you even come here. Because as you saw, we went to that one area. Whoa! We went to that one area that had uh, that lava in the Chozo runes. We were slowly losing health. So, a little bit further and then we will make it to the true ma- Oh, jeez, oh, hold on. I don't remember what these things are. These are Grisbees. <laughs> they are weak to missiles if you shoot them from the back. So if you just wait for them to turn around, and then boom, that will kill them. And then just quickly make our way across. Don't even bother killing anything. Of course, lava is going to kill you, obviously, so be careful about that. But once we walk through here... Welcome to Magmore Caverns, the lava area of this world. And I actually kind of like this world, but what I really like is the music. This is a nice little remix of the, uh, I wouldn't even call it a remix, it's more of, more or less just a, hmm, a, a reorchestration of the, uh, of the Lower Norfair theme of Super Metroid, and that's one of my favorite songs in the game. Anyway, we have got a ton of dangerous enemies here. We have, uh, these puffers, these gas balls, that once you kill them, they leave a giant ball of gas that will still hurt you no matter what. And then we have those giant snake things. That were, I didn't even get the name of them, but yeah. So, oh, jeez. And be very careful when you kill puffers if you're way too close to them. You'll get caught in the explosion. Yeah, you see what I mean? See how much health I'm already losing? Ah! See what I mean? See what I freaking mean? Yeah, these enemies get a little bit stupid now. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> Mad More Caverns can be a bit stressful, especially your first time playing. But really, it's not too bad. To be perfectly honest, we're going to be blazing through this area, like, our first time around. We're, we're not going to be here for too long. Also, let me just double check this because I know, uh, now we can't do anything with this here yet. I just remember I'm, I'm thinking too far ahead. I'm thinking too far ahead of this game. I shouldn't be doing that in the Let's Play because it's supposed to be sequential. Don't want to get too far ahead having people think, Adam, what the hell are you doing? Even though there are people out there who probably know this game well enough. Which, in that case, they're going to be thinking, Adam, you're getting a little too far ahead of, them, of, of yourself. Anyway, uh, these enemies over here, I forgot to scan them and get their names. What you can do is... Never mind. <laughs> if you're too slow, they will just grab you and spit you out. I guess I'll just show you what they are. These are triclops, hard-shelled creatures with powerful jaws. Basically, what they'll do is if you roll in the morph ball mode, which you can only do to get through here, and if they grab you, they'll spit you out and you'll lose some damage. But what you can do is you can put a bomb in their mouths and they'll just die. So that's one fun way to get rid of them. Anyway, make it through here. Oh, I missed one, but you know what? It doesn't matter. All right, so I know which room we're coming up to because we're gonna have another. We're gonna have another maze. With, uh, with the morph ball over here. Now, this maze always threw me for a loop, especially the first time I played it. There's no point killing these because they're just going to respawn anyway. Okay, down here. This morph ball maze. Right over here. There's going to be... Oh, puffers. Okay. It's going to be an entrance, which I have missed. Dad! Diggity dang. Okay, there's an entrance down here somewhere. I think I bombed it right here. No. Where's my... Where's the entrance? There's an entrance to this lower floor. Where the fudge is it? Uh, down here. Down here. Down here. Okay. I've clearly played this game before. Okay. Oh, not this shit again. Not this shit again. There we go. Alright. So. Oh! Yeah. No matter what, they will always just grab you and spit you out of the nearest exit. <laughs> and then just like, get the hell out of my hat. Oh, wait, did, did I get it? Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Ah! Dick! <laughs> you were just waiting, weren't you? Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Try that again. Maybe this time you're not gonna be in my way. Okay, good. Good. Here, have bomb, and then you too. No! Uh, piss wagons. I'm gonna get health only to lose it. That's stupid. That's the dumb thing, is that they're gonna be patrolling that area, waiting until like I'm completely gone, so I can't just Okay, are you out of my way now? Yes. Yes, you are up to the camera! Okay. You know what? Hey, hey, buddy, buddy, here, have bomb. <laughs> have a meal. Uh, and I got one more to deal with. Here, have this bomb. Okay, they're all dead. Meaning I don't have much that I gotta worry about now, so it's kinda just smooth sailing. Ah, another one! Alright, good. <laughs> Those enemies were always annoying. I never knew how to kill them my first time around, but then once I experimented enough, I'm like, wait a minute, what if I drop the bomb and then they ate it? 
Well, there we go. Okay. I'm trying to remember if there's anything we can do here. I don't think so. I think that this is just for later. Is it just for later, or can we actually do something here now? I'm trying to remember, because I just remember this room being a room of interest. Okay. Let's see, is there anything of interest in here? Perhaps, perchance, or am I, or did I premature it again? Yeah, I totally, no, no, we can, we can get a missile pack here. Okay, totally fine with that. <laughs> Putting us up to 50 missiles. I believe that's, yeah, we have a 20% uh, of the missiles already. Because I know there's a max of 200, well, less than 20%, because you start out with five and then you gotta get 50 more, it's 255. I think, it's either 255 or it's 250, it's one of those two numbers. But yeah, that's all that we can do here. So now let's just go back to the Triclops pit. <laughs> How fittingly named. And now it doesn't even matter if we, uh... It really doesn't matter if they spit us out because I'm trying to go out that way anyway. Or no, they're all dead. <laughs> I guess they didn't respawn quick enough. Anyway, but yeah, like I said, this is just going to be a very quick pit stop at Magmore Caverns. This is not going to be our main attraction for the episode. If I can just jump up here, there we go. Because as you'll see... up oh, puffers, that's what it's worth. Whoop! Oh, hi! 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 Bye. I, really? I got hurt from that? kind of dumb. Like how little space that you have. The freaking the giant massive explosion <laughs> space of the puffers. It's kind of stupid. Okay. We're going to be smart and shoot you from here. Okay. And I think those platforms rise and fall. Yeah, those platforms rise and fall. Okay. So if we just keep jumping, shoot you, and then we get rid of you as well. All right. Just keep that. I said get rid of you as well. D did we? I see the gas. I see the gas. So that means we did get rid of you. Okay. A little bit more. Boom, boom, boom. Already shot that door. Alright, we're coming up to the last few areas that we need to be here. There's not... Honestly, your first run of Mad More Caverns, I think the most you can get is that one missile pack. There is... Whoa! There is not much you can do here. I've never really tried exploring Mad More Caverns as much, but I kind of just, like, blaze through this area and just... Oh, this! Ah, oh, this! Thank God we have so many missiles now. Friggin' turrets. This is where the turrets kind of get dumb, because they're just everywhere. Oh, they take two, right. Okay, yep. Oh, they take four?! Did they take four? That's dumb. Okay. And then one, and then two. Yeah, they take four missiles. That's dumb. That is so dumb that they take four missiles now. Thank God I have 50. Yeah, this is this is why I hate the freaking uh, the turrets, because in hyper mode, they take four missiles to kill. Yeah, this is why I love hyper mode, because everything just... They, they don't die easy. No, they take more bullets. It's, it's not that they're harder to fight. It's just they have more health. Okay. What you want to do is you want to get rid of freaking every single turret. You do not want to leave anything alive. Okay, I don't remember. I'm going to regret going through this door because we can't really do anything here. Yeah, let's let's ignore that for now because I think we need an upgrade that we don't have yet. Okay, kill you. I'm, this is me going off my memory. I think last time I played this was summertime. Just to re-familiarize my... Gas! Just to re-familiarize myself with it, so... And again, this is only my fifth playthrough. So you would think I'd have this a lot more memorized than I already- Oh, fuck, Nuggets! Oh, I forgot about you! I forgot about you, just keep shuffling left and right, just keep shuffling, and you're dead. Okay. God, I really hate those things. I really hate the turrets. They're one of my least favorite enemies in the game. It's, it's, it's probably because of Hyper Mode, that's probably why I hate them. Okay. You're done over here, wait for the gas to dissipate, the- the gas gas. I could make jokes about the type of gas it is, but, you know, what kind of lowbrow YouTuber would that make me? Okay. Not much we can do over here, but we do have some space pirate data. We're doing. I think we just have regular stuff. Uh, yeah, no space pirate data over here of any, uh, of any noteworthiness. Up. Oh! Okay, just go through the gas! Alright, then we go through here. And then this is gonna be the last thing. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I remember this. Uh, I re okay, I know what we gotta do. We wanna bomb jump here. Like that. Because if we keep bomb jumping up here, then there's gonna be something waiting for us up here, which is an energy tank. There we go. I remember this. But yeah, you want to get good at bomb jumping if you want to get all the items here. So what you can do is just... Remember, I told you the uh, the shaking for the Wii Remote thing. So if you shake and then drop a bomb and then jump at the right time, then that's your bomb jump. Bomb jumping is a lot easier compared to Super Metroid and the original Metroid game. A lot easier. Anyway, as you'll see, we have an elevator granting us access to Fendrana Drifts. Already we're leaving Madmore Caverns. And snow. Charge beam will break this, but yeah. Holy climate change, Batman. <laughs> we were just in a fire area, and now we're in an ice area. 
I, I, I find it hilarious how it just changes up. Anyway. New area already. Welcome to Fendrana Drifts. <laughs> Again, I was just saying how funny it was, how funny it is that we go to a completely, completely different area. <laughs> how first we're in a lava area, and then it's just you know, boom. Now now we're in an ice area. Okay, so it's cold. There's water everywhere. We can't do anything in the water. Remember, we're limited. I'm trying to remember what we gotta do. Okay, I know it has something to do with this gate. Yes, there we go. Grading has become brittle. Large traces of radiance. So I think if we fire a missile, that will break it open. Yes, I'm remembering now. Okay. Okay. I remember. Like this, I remember. This part gave me trouble. New enemy! New enemy! New enemy! New enemy! And I almost got it. Hey! We remote! There we go. We have crystallites. They're hard to kill, but you can just uh, shoot a few missiles at, uh, one missile at them, and then they're good to go. So, to move onwards, scan this. That will unlock a door. That threw me for a loop my first playthrough. I'm like, how the hell do I open a door? And I'm like, can I go through here? Can I go through there? And I'm like, oh, wait. This gate is suspicious. So, yeah, that's what you want to do. But I will openly admit that this threw me for a loop my first playthrough. And I think even my second playthrough this threw me for a loop. All right. Uh, shoot you. Maybe get another missile out of you. No. Okay. And then here's a save room right over here. So, just remember that for later. But I think what I want to do is I want to get uh, one major thing before we end this episode off. I don't think I'm going to make this too long of an episode. I think it's fair if we spend like half the time here in Fendrana and then the other half we spend in Magmore. So, once we go through here, I'm trying to remember exactly. Okay. Oh, this is annoying because they have freaking ice things and then they have the, the pulse bombers. <laughs> where if you charge your beam, they freaking go towards you. But you can just morph ball through them, so it's really not that bad. Okay. This area over here. Oh, I remember this. We have baby she-goths. Ice shell protects the vulnerable dorsal area. Young she-goths grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, which serves to protect the layer of vulnerable flesh. With this being their weak point, baby she-goths will turn quickly in order to allow their, not allow the predators the opportunity to strike their backs. Okay. She-goths. Baby she-goths, at least. Pretty annoying. You want to get behind them and shoot them in their backs. So strafing is your best friend. The worst part is when there are multiple of them and they gang up on you. That's the worst part. And they take friggin' forever to kill. Baby she goths just have a lot more health in hyper mode. That's the trend. Well, oh, there we go, there we go. And then their uh, their back is exposed, and you just have to shoot their uh, charge beam their back once. So I think it's five charge shots on their shell. I don't remember how many missiles. I think it's five missiles as well. But yeah, just do charge shots on their backs, and that will reveal their weak point on their back. And then just one charge shot on their back will kill them. Like so. There you go. I and mean, that's the end of the baby she goths. Yeah, they're a bit annoying, especially in hyper mode, even though there is an item that really just, that makes baby she a literal joke. <laughs> but you're not going to be getting that item for a long time, just saying. Okay, now let's see if I remember what to do here. Nope, can't do anything here. I know there's stuff that we can do over here. I remember this for a fact. Okay, trying to think. Ah, okay. We break this open. No, no, oh, oh, I remember what that is. That, we can't do that yet. Ah, I remember what we gotta do. I remember exactly what we gotta do. Or maybe this is not the room that I'm thinking of. It's not the room that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a different room where you have to use a missile to shoot something down, but it's, it's a very similar room. Vendrana drifts, Vendrana drifts, this area of it, uh, like this main, this first area is pretty symmetrical. Like, there are rooms, like, on the west side that are similar in layout to the to this east side. We're on the east side, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. So we're just doing some top-down area platforming. Uh, nothing over here. Although I definitely remember this area being important for something... Yeah, one job, Samus! One job. You're fired. Anyway, <laughs> I was trying to kill things and I was trying to do my platforming. I don't know, that's the weird thing. With how good I am at platforming, you think I'd be more solid with this. But the platforming is definite in this game. I mean, the deal with Metroid games, it is a mix of platforming and shooting and adventuring. So it's like, I think the original deal of Metroid was it was supposed to mix the platforming of Mario with the exploration of Zelda. Which I definitely appreciate, you know, it's different. But the platforming definitely feels... It's definitely not as fluid as it would be in a Mario game. There's definitely, you know, a good amount of exploration like in Zelda, but... The platforming in this... Yeah, not as not as fluid as a game like, oh, especially Mario Odyssey, with how fluid the platforming is in that game. I love it. <laughs> Probably why it's my favorite game now. Oh, I shall get into detail on that later. Anyway, we make it over here. And then we can go through this door over here. Yes. This is where we want to go. 
Oh, and now we have uh, these. Oh, we can't do anything about them. We have more pulse bomb moves. Still can't do a damn thing about them. Just gonna have to make our way across, ignore them. But we are getting close to, uh, yeah, here, I think. But now we're in the ice rooms west. Okay. Ah, oh, we got baby shikas. I'm not gonna bother with you, idiots. Not even gonna bother with you. Okay, this is the room I was thinking of, where there is gonna be, there's gonna be something here. Oh, go you know, uh, no, I can't be arsed. I can't be arsed with you, idiots. I really can't be. Okay? I got important things to do. <laughs> like shoot this and go into this room. <sighs> More of these. Oh, that bamboos! Electricity! Can't wait till we finally get the thing that lets me kill these bastards. Okay. I believe this is the room. Yes. This is where we want to go. Okay. Down here. Oh, I got it! I got it from here. I'm in the city. It's gonna be going doop -do, -do, do do trying to wonder who the hell shot him. <laughs> Not even worth it. You know what? Whatever. We'll still kill him anyway. We'll kill him from our safety land right up here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the annoying thing is when you try and lock onto it, you have to get some height so it actually hits it in the back. That's the annoying part of fighting baby Shigoths if you're above them or below them or whatever. You have to, like, properly aim for their back. Oh, that'll do it. Is that it? Did I get it? There we go. There we go. And then dead. Perfect. <laughs> I'm one hell of a sniper. What can I say? All right. Well, oh, okay, now, want to go through here, or can we not? I think what we want to do is... Yeah, 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 we just want to walk through here, it's fine. Totally fine, I'm doing this right. Just gotta remember. Okay, kill you, and then we got a bit of a puzzle we gotta do. What we want to do is scan this. And we're gonna be doing some more platforming! Yay! Well, you know what, it's fine, because this is actually really simple platforming. You just gotta jump on these, and jump, and jump. Very easy, should not be hard. Should not be hard. Why am I hearing that rumbling? That's oh, probably because the platforms are just, you know, going... Oh, no. We remote! Yeah, because they fell. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> anyway, in here... We got the boost ball. So while we're in morph ball mode, we can hold the B button, and after we let go of it, we do a little speed charge. So as you'll see... They're basically just showing us what we have to do with it. And how there's no way out normally. But, as you'll see, I'm rolling around, if I hold the B button, we charge up, and I let go, we go fast. Now, what you can do with this, is you can go up the sides of these ice things, get yourself some momentum, and it's like a half pipe. <laughs> I actually really like this, I think this is cool. And you can keep building up your speed, getting higher and higher on this half pipe, and you can do sick tricks! And sick tricks! And even more sick tricks! <laughs> I'm gonna be making so many Tony Hawk jokes. So many of them. <laughs> That's what I love about this, is that just you can do freaking sick tricks with your boost ball on half pipes. I love it. You do this a lot more than you think you would, and I actually think it's really fun. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be freaking singing. Oh god, who remembers that one song from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? I don't remember the name, but I think it's called Superman or whatever. I think it, it, I know how it goes. It goes da 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 doing some sick tricks. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have too much fun with that boost ball. Anyway, with the boost ball in our possession, I think we are done for now. Now with the boost ball in hand, there are a few things that we can go back and get. And I'm gonna go back and get those next time. And then after that, we're gonna come back to Pindrana Drifts and take care of even more stuff. But for now, we're gonna cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Metroid Prime.